Hey everybody, welcome again to Right Now. Uh, now, today we are going to have a look at Amazon. So a bit of an introduction to Amazon. Um, now, why is this important? Well, for everyone that's in the 90-day challenge and for anyone who's out there who's, who's self-publishing or indie publishing, um, it's likely that your book's going to be on Amazon. So for everyone in the 90-day challenge, I can tell you right now, your book will be listed on Amazon. How cool is that? And your, it will be listed as a uh, hard copy available to purchase. So what I mean by hard copy is not hard cover. Hard copy is, you know, having a copy you can actually hold in your hands. Uh, for some of you in, the, in, the, um, in some of the programs, you'll also have an e-book copy available as well. So you'll have people that are able to purchase a download uh, or ebook and also the hard copy through Amazon as well. So pretty exciting times. And I felt that now was a really good time to show you what you can expect, to show you what your Amazon page will look like. Uh, so when somebody searches for you, what will come up. Um, to show you also how you can have a look at where you rate in comparison to others in your, in your genre or in your area, uh, in your um, industry. And also right now, before you're even on there, to, I'm going to show you how you can have a look to see who your, I guess, and I'm doing this in, in air quotations, competition is. So who else is out there doing something similar? Who else is out there providing, you know, information in the area that you're looking for? And the way to look at this is not competition as such. The way to look at this is opportunity. Because if somebody's out there already providing this information, Awesome. Have a look at their reviews. Have a look at what people are saying about their book. Get their book, support them, and then maybe they'll support you. And maybe if it's, you know, someone that's really that you resonate with, maybe you can even get them to write your foreword and, and they can be the authority for you. Just putting it out there. So let's have a look at a couple of things. Now, first thing I want to show you is uh, I'd love to give you an idea of what it would look like if someone was to search for you. Okay, so I'm going to use I'm going to use mine specifically. Um, actually, no, I'm not. Let's go with um, ooh, let's go with. Let me turn around and I'm going to grab the first author of a book that I see. And the first, oh gosh, my eyes are need a bit of work. Hang on, I'll be back. <laughs> Who is that one? I actually have to get get up for this. This is sad. Okay. All right. So the first one I saw was David Hawkins. So let's have a look for David Hawkins. David Hawkins. Beautiful. Now this is this is the book I actually was looking at. This is the book that's on my shelf, Letting Go. Then, by the way, if anyone hasn't read this. Fantastic book, highly recommend it. Um, all about letting go, not it's letting go of emotions, but not in the way of actually letting them go completely. It's around letting go of the control of, of emotions and the control of feeling things. So it's actually allowing yourself to feel anything and everything completely and, and letting go the, of the control around it. So fantastic book, highly recommend it. Anyway. So this is the book by David Hawkins. Now, if we look down, we'll see there's some other books by him as well. Really cool. So that's how people will search for your name. Okay. And I want to point here out here as well. I love that what he's done here where he's got this, this branding where you kind of look at it and know it's his, like it goes through all of his books. Um, it's very simple, but it's a really great way um, like for many of you, I would have spoken to you about topography with the topography being your, your font that's recognizable as you in the same way, this design is recognizable as his. Um, now I am publications has, has a logo and we have a design for the books that we put out that's recognizable as I am publications. And, uh, yeah, I highly recommend that if you, if you are looking at doing more books in the future, think about something like this now where you can actually, uh, you know, have that, that, um, I want to use the word branding. It's not the right word, but so you, that design. So you can have that, that branded design across all of your work so that people start recognising you and recognising that it's your work. So 
Uh, you can also look for other more obscure writers, such as now I will use my own because I'm pretty obscure. <laughs> Awesome, and that, and then that brings up all the things that um, I've written. Well, not all of them, but some of the things I've written and been in. And then you've got your big names as well, your Stephen King. Beautiful, and then you can bring up all those. So these are how people will search for you. They can also search for you using the book title. So if I was to search for, for example, uh, Red Queen, which is a book by one of my favourite authors, Honey Brown. I put that in now. I can see the first one's not the one I'm after. But if I go down a bit, my queen. Oh, 20 pages worth. This is actually good. This shows you um, it shows you a bit of information. So, um, so yeah. So you can search for, and that's going to take a little while to think about it. So you can search for the book title as well. Now, in this instance, I actually know who the author is. So I'm going to put in Red Queen Honey Brown, and that's actually going to bring it up. Oh, <laughs> it's going to bring it up to the top uh, once you get through some furniture. There we go. There's the book I was looking for. Now, here's the thing with Amazon. It's no longer just about books. So you can search over here, show results for just books. It'll get rid of all those really cool. Oh, that's a nice lounge though. Um, get rid of all those things and that's the, there's your book, Honey Brown. Now, the other thing that you can do is search, as you can see here, that's actually highlighted books now. Let's go back to all departments. Okay, so what you could do is just say you wanted to find a book on... Um, uh, becoming a um, actually let's go let's just go with acting let's just keep it simple and then so we've got all this stuff that comes up in relation to acting mainly books which is cool but just say you wanted something in particular let's say for this because we are talking about books we just go books and we search for that and it'll hone down and it'll just bring back the books, okay? It's going to bring back anything with the word acting though. So the way you can refine this further and, and those first parts will give you an overview of searching. Now I'm going to show you how to actually go in and find the information that you need, like um, what your competition's doing and like what other books are in your industry, okay? So first thing we do, Hover over this little box here, it says departments. Go to books and audio, other uh, audio, uh, blah, 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 books and audible. <laughs> and then go to books. Cool. And we're going to go shop by category. So let's say. Let's say we wanted to find a book on history. We click on history. And then we wait a billion years for my computer to catch up. Oh, there might be some still some gremlins hanging around, guys. It'll get there. There we go. Now it's thinking. All right. So then it'll give me other categories within the category of history. Okay, so I can search ancient civilizations, etc. Now let's actually, let's go through, <clears throat> excuse me, let's go back to books. Let's actually go through a category that one of you guys is doing at the moment. Oops, sorry guys, that's my phone. Let me just turn that off. Um, <laughs> and yes, that was Darth Vader. So let's go through... Um, one of the areas that you guys are currently writing in. So this is, I, I'm going to have a look and see if we can find something along the lines of what uh, one of our current members is doing, David. And I reckon yours is probably going to be under art and photography. That's my guess. I could be wrong. Um, performing arts. Here we go. So it'll be under performing arts. 
and it'll be under let's see let's search under theater as an example yours may be different but this is just to kind of break it down but you see how we're continuously breaking it down we're getting into the uh the real crux of the category or subcategory uh let's see I reckon let's have a look at stagecraft again. David, don't know if this is one that's going to help you, but let's have a look. So when I break it down to stagecraft, I can see that there is, let's see, two thousand nine hundred and eighty four results. Okay, so let me just go back and show you that again. So we've broken it down to stagecraft. I've then scrolled down past all of these like standout ones, because these are the ones that are just kind of highlighted, down to here. Now this is where your main listings are. Uh, and I can see there's 2,984 results for books, arts and photography, performing arts, theater, stagecraft. Now I can search, I can, I can um, change how this is returned, the search results are returned. I can do it by price. Um, customer reviews, publication dose, uh, date, most reviews. Let's go with customer reviews. All right. So this is the top dog for customer reviews. Okay, and you can see these ones up here. They're all they're all doing really well. So you might want to potentially look at some of these if they're along the lines of what you're, you know, what's working for you. Um, you can go with the ones that has the most reviews. These might not be the highest stars, but they've got the most reviews. Okay, so it doesn't surprise me that we see, you know, Romeo and Juliet and Merchant of Venice up there. Brilliant. So how does that help you? Well, it helps you because you can see, number one, this one's had 2,000 reviews. To get 2,000 reviews, it's probably had about 20,000 purchases and reads, to, at least. Probably a lot more than that, actually. Uh, so how this helps you is you can start to see what's popular and you can start looking at maybe why it's popular. Now, that one's Romeo and Juliet. It's probably popular because it's got Romeo and Juliet on it, no matter what it is. Um, Merchant of Venice, obviously, really popular as well. The other way it helps you is that you can start to see what pricing they're putting on these books as well. Okay. Now, just take note, Kindle edition is going to be cheaper. Kindle edition will always be cheaper. Paperback is your hard, is your hard copy. Hard covers your hard copy. Paperback, hard copy. So the Kindle edition is, is going to be a small amount. The hard copy is what you, is going to have... Um, the higher amount. So don't look at a dollar and think that you're going to sell your hard copy for a dollar. Hells no, because that won't even cover your costs. <laughs> so let's go back to, let's go back to books. And let's search for Amazon charts. So this one is really good for you to know. So we've just clicked on Amazon charts. This tells you the most read books, no surprises there. If yours ever appears on there, like seriously, high five to that, you are phenomenal. So that's the top 20 most read. In fiction, now let's have a look at the ones in non-fiction. Top 20 most read in non-fiction. I have this, I haven't read it yet. All right, so it gives you a bit of an idea of what people are currently purchasing at the moment or currently reading. So there's, you've got two tabs here, you've got most read and you've got most sold. Now the difference between the two is um, the 
you can so people will purchase a book and not read it. So what Amazon's tracking is um, the Kindle book. So it's tracking which of these books have been purchased and which have been opened and read. So for me, I purchased this, so I would be a part of this most sold, but I haven't read it yet, so I wouldn't be part of this most read. I trust that makes sense. You'll find that most of it is an overlap and it's primarily the same, but there'll be some books in here that are that are a little different on the two lists. All right, so what I want to do is I want to have a look now on the most sold and I want to look at a book that might relate to one of ours. Um, let's see. Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. That sounds interesting. Let's have a look at that. Now, I'm actually not going into this book to have a look at it. I'm actually going into this book to suss out where it's sitting in comparison to everything else, to start allowing me to think about what I need to do to be in that space, okay? What I mean by that is now that we're in the page, if we scroll down past the reviews and the product details, oops, I think I went too far. Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's right in front of me. Uh, so it's at the bottom of the product details. This tells you where this particular book is sitting overall. So it's 4,801 in, uh, paid in the Kindle store. It's number four in this particular category and subcategory. So remember how before we went through acting, stage, uh, and we went right down to stagecraft? So this would be the stagecraft component, okay? So this is actually breaking it right down. So overall, it's 4,801, but it's number four in this category and it's number 22 in this category and it's number 26 in this category. Okay, so I trust that makes sense. That's how you can actually be a top 10 bestseller in a particular industry, category, etc. cetera, uh, even if you're not top 10 overall. It's like it's top 5,000, which is pretty damn epically awesome. Uh, but yeah, you can be top 10. See this, number four, and he's only top 5,000 overall. So I trust that makes sense as well. Okay, so how does that help you? That helps you because a couple of ways. Firstly, you can have a look and see where this book is going. So just say this was book was very similar to what you're writing at the moment. You can have a look and see how it's performing. You can have a look and see in which category it's performing best in. Now, it's clearly performing best in this one. So let's actually go in and have a look at that category. So I've just clicked on that. And we're going to have a look what else is in that specific category. Now, the great thing is it's going to give you the top performers in that category. Okay, so there it is sitting at number four, which we already knew. And look at this. We now know what the top number one is. And the secret is number two. Like this book's beating the secret. Epic. So uh, let's have a look at this one here. All right. So let's have a look at this one. If we scroll down. And we have a look at the product details. Then 1,288 overall. And this is Kindle, remember. Number one in this category. Number one in this category. Number two in this category. This book's doing something right, okay? However, keep in mind that that is in the Kindle category. Cool. So let's have a look at, let's go back to books. Let's get ourselves out of the Kindle category. And let's just choose something random. Let's go biographies and memoirs. So this might align more with another person that's in the group at the moment, Francis. So let's see, in our category, let's go with um, let's have a look. I don't like any of those ones. All right, let's just choose one. Let's go with memoirs. And let's go with, oops, that's your bestsellers. 
Okay, so memoirs, it's already stopped. It's not going to take us down another level. So let's go down here. There's 1,100... 146,167 books for, for in memoirs, okay? Now, just say we want to, we go, well, that's a lot, and I want to find something that's more like what I've written, okay? We can search in memoirs. So let's search for um, Australia. And helps if I spell it correctly, again, but... It loves to correct me. All right. So we're going to search for, oops, it's taken me out of memoirs. That's concerning. Hmm, interesting. Let's go back. It doesn't, oh, maybe it's because I spelled it wrong. Let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. So it's now searched for Australia within memoirs. Okay. And what do we got? Travels in a sunburned country. You know what? That could be kind of similar to what you're doing, Francis. You know, a little different, but let's let's have a look. Let's just go with that one. Let's choose this. So we'll click on that. And let's have a look down here. And I haven't even looked at all this stuff yet with the reviews and whatnot. At the moment, we're just looking at how can you find your place in Amazon, yeah? So if we go down here, this one is 59,603 in paid Kindle store. But it's number seven in the category of Australia. So let's have a look at that category. So there it is sitting at seven. Let's see the number one. So this is the number one one sitting in the category of Australia. Let's have a look at it. It might not even be relevant, but hey. Cool. So we'll go down to the details. Product details. So this one's top 5,000, barely, but it's number one in Australia, number one in India, number two in India general. So again, that book's doing something right. However, in this case, I don't think it's a, probably a relevant book for you to, to work with. I, I think that's a very um, targeted and specific book. So I would have a look through other ones that might be relevant to see if I can find you know, something that's going to take me in the direction of, of what my book would be. Cool. But anyway, point is, that's how you have a look. Now, this is not a science behind this. This is, in, well, kind of science, I guess, because it's stats. Um, but it, this, what this is about is having a look to see what else is out there, having a look to see who you can model, how you can model them, where your place is and what you can do to align with what's already there. Because you don't want to fight what's already there. I think it's it's quite, it's working, yeah? What's there is working. So why not look at that, utilise that, look at what's working in the cover even, rather than going, oh, well, I'm going to do the opposite because that's already there. That's kind of silly. That's working for them. Why would you do the opposite, yeah? Um, don't do obviously the exact same because, you know, copyright and all of that. And I'll be doing another video on that shortly. Um, but yeah, the idea of this introduction to Amazon right now is to allow you that opportunity right now to start looking at how you can, how you can look at what's already out there compared to what you're doing. Okay. Um, now let's let's just really quickly have a look at um, let's just go back to books books let's have a look a little bit further into a listing for Amazon so you've got a bit more of an idea around that now I want to go to bestsellers and have a play with all of this like seriously play around it's, again you can't hurt it so go nuts have a look through it and get yourself familiar with what's available. I want to have a look at the Amazon most sold charts. Okay, now this looks familiar to you, right? 
And I want to have a look at the number one in non-fiction. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Ten weeks on the list, not doing bad. Let's go into this one and let's have a look at this. Now, this is obviously, this one's doing fantastic. This is also a New, New York Times bestseller, okay? So, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, Counterintuitive Approach to Living a Good Life. And this is the Kindle edition. There's other editions available. But what I want to do is just show you right now. So first of all, you'll have all the pricings and what's available. Audio CD, fantastic. Uh, you'll have a bit of information. Oh, so New York best, uh, New York Times bestseller. You'll have uh, their little blurb. If you ever have a blurb like that, oh, my God, definitely put it on everything. You'll have here what else customers bought. So this is really good for you as well because if you find a book that you really resonate with, you can also see the other books that the readers that have read that book have resonated with. So you've got several books where you can start really looking at what your reader is reading. Trust that makes sense. So then we've got reviews. Okay. These are reviews. Um, that the author has included, not official reviews, not as in when I say not official reviews, not Amazon reviews, not reviews that have been done on Amazon by somebody who's paid for it through Amazon. These are ones that the writer has gathered themselves and put in. And this is what you guys will do before you get uh, reviews actually on Amazon. Uh, from the back cover, that'll be your blurb on your back. Uh, now, the product details. This will all be entered through the publishing process, so you don't have to worry about this too much right now. Um, it'll come up saying how, and this is, again, this one. This one's a Kindle edition. So it'll come up with the details, publication date, etc. cetera, sold by. Uh, it'll have your IS, ASIN, which is like your ISBN. Don't worry, that's all taken care of for you. Um, and then it'll have here your rankings, okay? So this is what your page will look like as well. It'll have all of this stuff. Um, it won't have rankings until it's made a sale. So as soon as you made a sale, rock a fourth. So this one, this is good. This one's 236 overall. Number one here, number two here, number three here. Very cool. Then you've got a bit of information about the author. So start thinking about this because... Um, uh, actually, for the, what I should say, if you're in the program and you're a bestseller, so you're in the bestseller program, start thinking about this because you will have your own uh, your own brand, which means you'll have your own dedicated page. For everyone else, this will have Iron Publications, okay? And then I'll have additional details about each of the authors in there, so that will all be outlined as well. Actually... No, sorry, correcting that. So I'm just thinking about how that's going to be set up. Um, no, it won't be. It won't. You'll actually will have your own on there. So everyone, start thinking about that. So think about your um, your information because I'll actually get that from you and put it on there. Yeah, I just realised that as I'm thinking it through my head, um, when it comes to the publication, th this page will be set up separately for each one. So rock forth. Cool. So think about your little bio biography. Now, this is customer reviews. So this guy's got 1,616 customer reviews. Don't freak out if you get a one star. Remember what we said the first week in um, for those in the program, that the very first week we said, if you only get, uh, if, you, if you get anyone who doesn't like your book, it simply means that maybe they're not in the space to read it right now. They're not in the space to appreciate it. Either they're not yet at the awareness level they need to be or perhaps they've already gone beyond that and they're not learning anything additional from your book. Either way, rock forth. That's cool. Um, so five stars, though. He's got a lot of people that are resonating. That's pretty awesome. That's what you want. Um, and then he's got some customer reviews here, what people have actually written about, about it and definitely you want to have um, those in there. That will go in there automatically. So when people purchase your book, they have the ability to do this. What I highly recommend is that when you get fan, friends, family or whatnot to purchase from Amazon, you definitely get them to write a review because that is what's going to push up your branding and you as a business. 
Excellent. Down here, customers who viewed this item also viewed. So this isn't, this isn't that they also read it, but they did view it. Okay, what other items do customers buy after viewing this item? So once they have a look at yours, what else are they purchasing? Uh, or in this, in this, what else are they purchasing after this book? And then look for similar items by category. So you can now... If you found that one, if you've found this particular person's book, you can look at other categories based on that and, and go through this process again. Um, so that's that's going through the page a little more. That's all the details that will be on that. Most of that will be taken care of as we go through the program, okay? Um, so there's a couple of additional things that you'll need to do, but we will get to that in the third month. This is way down the track. Right now, all I want you to know is that this is what Amazon looks like. And this is uh, a great place for you to start being aware of what else is out there, who your, who your uh, potential, and again, saying this in air quotations, com uh, competition is, and what you can do to be a part of that industry and part of that, that world that's already succeeding right now. Okay. I trust that was helpful. Uh, let me know if anything wasn't clear, if you need me to go over anything further. And remember, this was an introduction to Amazon to give you a bit of an idea about it. This was not a deep dive. There's a lot more to know about Amazon. And what I would recommend is that you go create yourself an account and have a look, play around, because this is how you learn. You learn by giving it a go. You don't learn by waiting for someone to tell you everything. I trust that makes sense. Get in there, have a play. Until next time, see ya.